Hey everybody, welcome back to week 15 of our trading watch list. In these videos, we talk about our trade recaps for last week. We talk about some major events that are happening for the following week and which stocks we are watching to sell options. Selling option is a great strategy for anybody who does not have time to sit in front of their laptop Monday to Friday, nine to five and place trades. So this is the series that focuses on selling options. If you want to follow along or learn more about selling options, make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow this series and save this watch list. So in today's video, we are going to go over our last week's trading results and which stocks we are going to watch for next week. If you end up liking this video, make sure to give us a like and without further ado, let's dive in. All right, let's get straight into our last week's performance. So last week's performance was relatively still red throughout the week. However, there were a little bit of bright signs. If you remember our last week's video, everything was red. Nvidia was down over 10%. Nvidia was actually up last week for about 4.64%. But overall, ExxonMobil also gained 1.62%. Now keep in mind, this week is the start of Q4 and Q4 generally should do better than Q3 because generally September is the weakest month in terms of S&P 500 performance. What to watch out for next week? We are going to be having the September jobs reports are going to come out and it is expected that we will add 168,000 non-farm payroll jobs, which basically drops the unemployment to 3.7%. Here is a chart from Yahoo Finance that you can see on the screen and also so if you remember, we still have the strike with the UAW that continues to rage on. We'll see how that pans out. And a big news for Tesla investors, Tesla is going to report its delivery numbers. It is expected to be down. We are expected to have deliveries of 456,000 versus 460,000 a quarter ago. We may see further drops in the Tesla stock price. So let's kick it off with our trade results. Currently, we have an open AMD put at $102 expiration October 6th. You can follow along from a couple last videos. We have been rolling this put for last few weeks now and our cost basis is $694 on this particular trade. We have achieved 74% gains in this contract so far. So the current value left on this contract is about $180. If I'm able to get to about 90% of this contract, I might end up closing this contract to free up my capital. I'll see how things go, but that is the general plan. Before before I get into the trade that I took instead of ExxonMobil, the reason we did not take ExxonMobil was ExxonMobil ran up for the week, especially on the news when crude is hitting $95 and $100 a barrel. And we decided not to take this trade because our goal is to get into ExxonMobil around $112, $113 mark. You should only take trades when it hits the price that you want to get into, especially when it comes to cash secured puts. This is too expensive for me at the current point in time. So ExxonMobil will be sitting on the sidelines until we see a change in the trade. Trend. So instead of getting into ExxonMobil, I took a trade on Schlumberger Limited, which the ticker symbol is SLB. This company is also in the energy sector and it provides digital products as well as equipments for refinery and etc. for the energy companies. We opened a cash secured put on September 29th and expiration October 6th for $59 put. We got about $88.32. The current stock price for SLB is below $59 and I'm okay getting SLB at $59 because I, I expect that SLB should be able to bounce off the 50 day moving average. If it fails, we might end up rolling the contract a couple of weeks out to see if it can regain. So we'll see how the trade plays out in the next couple of days. The last trade update is on Tesla where we are running a $265 call expiration of October 27th. We have received about $23.31 per share. So that leads to about $2,331 in premium on this particular trade. We are up 60% almost. As Tesla reports their delivery numbers next week, and if the delivery numbers are down, we could see Tesla stock going down even further, and that is going to increase our total gains for this contract. The first stock that I'm watching for next week, it will be ExxonMobil. I am targeting the $112 and $13 level. I think it is too expensive right now to be getting into this trade as it has ran up a lot. I expect to be near the 50 day moving average for me to be comfortable in owning ExxonMobil. The second stock that is on my watch list is Square. Now, as you can see over here, Square, we had Square at $45 in our Fibonacci retracement. It broke through that and the stock is trading at $42.77. So we're gonna change our Fibonacci level. And Square has hit its all time low. 
So if you want to own Square for a long term, this might be a good occasion to start dollar cost averaging or opening a small tranche in Square. I might consider opening a CSP for Square and I might target the $42 where it is a delta is 19. So being a little bit more conservative, you have also 1,153 open interest. You will get about 29 or 30 cents for the contract, about $30. So it might not be a bad idea to get into this trade. So that will be the second stock that is on my watch list. The third stock idea on the watch list will be on Nike. Nike reported its earning and it was a blowout quarter for Nike. And that's the reason we have this major gap up. Again, Nike is a very reputed company and Nike also provides dividends. So depending upon you like Nike, or not that could be a trade that you can look into right before the earning the stock had plummeted to $88.66 it is below its 20 50 and 200 a moving average so Nike currently is undervalued especially after reporting that blowout quarter with Q4 coming up we can expect the retail companies to perform a little bit better and I don't mind holding Nike at these levels of 88 86 so if I'm looking at Nike I might target again the 25 or 30 Delta depending upon how comfortable you are to own Nike so around the $94 would be the 29 Delta that, that looks enticing and you would get about $65 on this contract. So those are the three trades that I'm looking at for next week and I will continue to keep you posted on x.com. So make sure you follow me there as well. If you enjoy today's content, make sure you give us a like, click on subscribe and ring the bell notification. I will see you next time, Investor Family, but don't forget to invest for tomorrow.